super cool party people and welcome to the vlog. It is currently about 20 after 7. I am most, I am way too highlighted with, with the, we, do, we went, we went, we went wrong. Anyways, um, I need to start getting ready for work but the vlog is up, the room is tidy and clean and I feel like I've been really productive this morning which is nice because I did sleep in until 6.10 which is a bad habit that I've been getting into lately. I should just wake up at 6 but what can you do and um and yeah so I'm just gonna get dressed. I don't know what the weather is outside. I think it's pouring rain but at least it's not snow and rain so that's a tick up from yesterday and then I gotta pack my bag. So yeah I still have a lot of stuff to do but overall not so bad so I'm gonna do that and I guess I, I, it's too much. It is, oh, look at that highlighter. It is too much. <laughs> and um, <laughs> just, I'm very self-conscious. And um, I will check in with you in a little bit. So I've been talking about this big event that we're having this week for a while now and it is tonight. <laughs> it is a ballet. Um, so the ballet company arrived yesterday and like just trying to get through this area here as you can see there's stuff everywhere like this is like a ton of duffel bags piled up cases i don't think you can, you can see some of their stuff on the stage like it is crazy there is so much stuff all the doors were open the lights were still on in the theater because obviously they were working late there's like a ladder right here because they're hanging or they're moving wires and stuff, I'm sure. So that is fun. But yeah, today is the day. So it's like all hands on deck. It's going to be crazy. There's a reception afterwards. So yeah, it's insane. Like it's a touring ballet company. We don't tend to do those. Like we'll do the Nutcracker. And um, usually it's just like their principals and then they get a bunch of students from in the town to go. This time I think it's mostly their cast and then a couple students. So yeah, fun times. So I am here at work. I'm gonna get started because I think they show up at nine to start continuing to set up for tonight. It's crazy. They got here at five o'clock last night, I think. And then they set up until I think noon today. They'll probably still set up, but noon is when the company shows up to start doing their rehearsals and everything. And then I think the ballet is at like seven or 7.30. It's crazy. So that is what's happening. That is why I picked up an extra shift today. It is disgusting outside. It's not as bad as yesterday, but there's snow everywhere and it is a wet snow. And so I wore my boots and I brought my shoes because my boots have a slight heel. So puttering around in them, not the best. So I'm gonna change my shoes now and then get to work. Did I, that is like, I look like a light bulb and that was not intentional. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get to work now. Um, before everybody shows up. Hopefully I can get a couple things done before it goes crazy. Well, hello. It is, wow, it is quarter to two. It was like, a, a, it was chaos at the theater today. There were so many staff there, so like our people, and then there was a bunch of crew for the ballet, and then like dancers started to show up, and then the caterer showed up, and it was just insane. Like I wasn't even really supposed to be there today. I was just kind of there to help out. And so I'm glad I went in because it's like, okay, I'll go under the stage and I'll get these coolers for the champagne that needs to go on ice. Okay, I'll clean this up for you um, and replace all the glasses for the, like, for the crew and stuff. And I'll move tables. I'll grab tablecloths. Like it was insane. It was all hands on deck. And so definitely glad that I noticed that that was maybe a hole in the pro thought process at the staff meeting and that my boss was like yeah you know what come in so I was there for four hours I helped a lot and then my mom came and grabbed me and we went and we had lunch and then we went and we did a little bit of shopping I, I had to get um chips for D&D &D because I bought a ton of chips and so I've slowly been cycling through them I think I mentioned it and I had two bags left so all was well and then my mom opened one bag <laughs> and was like mm, sorry I ate those and then her boyfriend had to go work out of town so he brought the other bag to snack on on the way so I was out of chips so I bought like five or six bags of like the really cheap Walmart brand chips which are really good so like whatever and then I got a couple other, th other things that was not English. I picked up these Pilot Frickson pens which from following people on Instagram and stuff apparently because they are heat slash friction erasable I can use them with my embroidery and instead of having to wait for the air ones to erase or the 
water soluble ones obviously to get rid of them apparently you can just like iron these and they'll go away so fingers crossed that works if it does i might pick up some black ones just to have a different color i also got these amazing greeting cards so this one is on the front and it's got a bunch of porpoises and they're going ee and then you open it up and it says please enjoy this all porpoise greeting card which is so so good it's going to strudel's mom a hundred percent and then it's a friend of mine's birthday coming up and there's this cod with a birthday hat on and then inside it says please enjoy this birthday cod instead of card <laughs> love puns they're the greatest and then the last real thing i got was this tote here it's just a nice flat one. I wanted something like that. Actually, I pretty much wanted exactly that to put my embroidery pieces in that either are hooped and I just need somewhere to store them because right now I'm using a, a shipping box that I got or things that I don't want to hoop and it'll give them somewhere safe to be. So that's what I got. That is fantastic. I am home now. I'm wearing this sweater that I got. It was in like my, my really crappy haul that I did the other day where I got a bunch of really cheap sweaters and oh my goodness it is so comfy. I think I paid probably like 11 or 12 bucks for it and it's the most comfy thing and it's nice and oversized and I am in love. So I'm glad that I got it because I didn't even try it on. I was just like that yeah, probably will fit and it definitely does. I think it's the size too big which was intentional so I'm really enjoying it. But yeah I'm gonna sit here for a bit chill out because like there were so many people it, there was so much going on at the theater and I'm just like a little like at the moment so probably just gonna watch some YouTube and then get into the list for today it's a little bit longer than yesterday but it's not too much more complicated I think the only like really crazy thing on here like I have to I have to bring my drink jars down because I'm out of drink jars now and I want to bring my recycling down. But other than that, the only thing extra compared to yesterday is to do invoicing. So I will work on that at some point. I'm kind of regretting that I have to do invoicing today because I had put it on my list before I knew I had to work today. But what can you do? So that's where I'm at. Ugh, itchy nose. And I have now been rambling for a very long time, so I'm going to go. So it is just after eight and I just remembered that I want to do invoicing today but I still need to edit my 5,000 words so I think I'm gonna do that first the, the 5,000 words <laughs> simply because I know my boss is currently traveling or tomorrow or whatever because he's going to the Vancouver boat show to promote fine channel and um so I know he probably won't have a chance to look at this <laughs> I'm thinking it's so great to have a calendar into everybody's life <laughs> kind of thing. Anyway, had dinner. It was just my mom and I. We had steak and roasted potatoes and oh, to the cook, which was me. It was amazing. And uh, then I just came up and I chilled up, chilled at, chilled on my bed for a bit. And uh, then I realized I was supposed to do invoicing. So uh, it's fine. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to edit first because the editing has been going pretty smoothly. There's a chance that I will finish in an hour's time and then maybe I'll have time to do invoicing or I can just do it tomorrow or even the next day. I'm not too concerned. I did let my boss know that because it's so slow, I'm just going to kind of do it once a week now. So it's fine. It's just a matter of how much more I'll have to do. And it looks like we're starting to pick up, so it's going to probably get to the point where I need to go back to at least two times a week again. But for now, I can get away with it. So I'm going to onto my computer, hopefully not fall asleep, because I am a little bit struggling right now. And then um, get this done. Oh, wow. I just finished invoicing, and I have not struggled that much in a very long time. There was just some really confusing things and like trying to work through it and unmuddle it and even at the end I was like I don't this doesn't make sense like either these people went on the same boat or this is a double booking or there's two groups of these people that are the exact same and I couldn't tell so I was like here boss please tell me what happened but it does seem like one of the water taxi drivers that's usually out there I'd say from like February to September with his wife. They live on the boat. That's where we go to rant. Um, I saw his initial in the in the water taxis schedule. So I think he's back. So that is so exciting. So I should reach out to his wife and be like, OMG, are you back? I miss you. <laughs> Anyways, it is 10 o'clock now. Just 
under the wire, got everything done. The only thing I didn't do was deal with my recycling, which you can see up there, but it's honestly not that bad. I keep thinking it's worse than it is. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I've got so many cans, but I think I only have like eight, so that ain't so bad. But you know what time it is. 10 o'clock means it's time for this girl to get ready for bed. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning when we do very similar things. Good night.